I'm Faith, and welcome to Faith's Take, where I talk about anything and everything that I find interesting. And welcome to my review and raw reactions to MST3K The Gauntlet Episode 3, uh, The Lords of the Deep. Uh, so this one was by far the best one so far in the season. Um, so, but before we get into that, let's just check out my raw reactions. Okay, so, uh, I just finished Atlantic Rim, uh, did not get it. Uh, clearly just watched it, did not get it edited or anything or any uh, up or anything like that. I'm getting a little tired, but still awake enough to at least want to watch some more. So we're on to the next episode here. Um, it's the shortest one, only 78 minutes. No, this is called Lord of the Deep. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. So I know nothing about it, unlike the last two where I kind of had an idea of what those movies were. So let us just dive right in here. Uh, uh, hey, Jonah. I like them on a different set, that's nice. Turns out they're gold ones, a fighter. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so, the skull people, the boneheads, have uh, voices now. That's neat. Outside of the singing voices, you know what I mean. Seeing Jonah and the bots in the in like the the Moon Thirteen base, and not in the not in the theme song where where Jonah's in there, but just like having them in the set. That's pretty cool. Kind of like how every once in a little while you'd get them in the Deep 13 set a little bit. At least, uh, Crow was in the Deep 13 set at least once, and Tom was in the Castle Forester set at least once, so. Oh, hey, I'm so happy with the new camera angles. Yeah, we're in the home stretch. Yeah. No. Home, home stretch? We're not even halfway Yeah. Through. What? <laughs> Why? Hey. Why? What's going on there? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Oh whatever. Hey, I used to live there. Aww. Aww. <laughs> so it really doesn't get aligned this time. Why is that inconsistent? I don't know, that's just weird. Oh, there's a crawler. No, let him say something. She's molting. Oh, glass. <laughs> what is she even trying to like accomplish? <laughs> wow. Martel has their best interests at heart. Guys, I, I just saw the end of the movie, and oy vey, it doesn't go. Not only did it reassemble, it reassembled itself. Her hairline is weird. Yeah, we get it. Your placenta's amazing. Ew. You know, there wasn't one hole on it. I put it on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cody <laughs> risked contamination by preserving. She opened her mouth like this. Howdy. You guys talking about it? I got this. Uh, nothing. <laughs> it's like she's permanently sad and her mouth is always taut. Okay, well, I'm just gonna pause it for just a second now that we're going to the first segment. This is, I think, pretty easily the, the best riff so far of of the three episodes. This is this is just from the first, how long am I into this? Like 20 something? 25 minutes of the, of the episode? You know, first host segment, mid-movie, and uh, I think this is, is easily the, the 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 best and most solid so far because even when the riffs aren't laugh out loud funny, it's like I think overall they're they're better than the non laugh out loud funny riffs of the last two. I will say, uh, for this to be you know the gauntlet and King is saying these are the worst ever, this is at least so far I'll say that so far is nowhere near as bad not only as the last two movies but as like a lot of movies they've done before on on this show as a whole so you know but we'll see wait did you just say <laughs> she was like pie's a number and i was like delicious <laughs> Once when I was five, I was homesick, and my older brother had some friends over, and everyone knew what had happened, and they treated me like a baby, even though I was a big boy. Mm. What the heck? Uh, I, I pretended like the goop made me say just like this shameful memory from my past. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. Let's try it again. No, no, no. I was in third grade, and this is one's class. I decided to put on a puppet show for talent. I figured I could just come up with something on the spot, but then oh, I was no. in the class. Jonah, it took real courage to open up like that. Uh, thanks, but no, it didn't, because it wasn't real, so it wasn't really <laughs> That was pretty good. Jonah did that really well. It was like that under duress and all that. That was great. It reminds me a lot of uh, Mike's first episode when they had him recall a painful memory. <laughs> Jonah, this is like when we watch you sleep. 
Except with less screaming and thrashing and sobbing about, will I ever get to see my loved ones again? Oh, oh no! You are now that's... merging onto the information center. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's terrible. Know, which Doctor Who opening is this? Tom Baker or Late Purdue, perhaps? I don't know. I'm more of a Chris Eccleston guy. <gasps> Me too! <laughs> And beat it before I <laughs> you gotta walk faster, not that fast. Oh boy, here it comes. They like bathroom jokes this season Come a little too much. Me, this is not my beautiful. Now let's get back to our game of mafia. Some of you call it werewolf or assassin. It's the same rules though, but it, it'll be fun still. We used to play mafia at camp. Oh, no. <laughs> I took the liberty of writing your suicide notes. Oh no! Don't worry, this is a whole new life form. It was able to kill and melt that one dude. These are my lines. <laughs> You're wasting paper. <laughs> this X Files reboot has really lost its magic. See, clearly they edited something here. Because it's like, when did they find out, oh, we need to be looking for this thing? Clearly they edited that scene. I don't think puns are funny. Yet, the way they're constructed makes you feel like they should be. I hear you. <laughs> I like puns. Rizzo, no! No! <laughs> oh, that's good. Wait, what happened? How'd that guy just die? Detector. Barbara, they're coming for you. Yeah! <laughs> we need to find Claire. She owes me five bucks. <laughs> Maybe I don't even want to save my brother from that Goblin King. Yay, Labyrinth reference. <laughs> Claire? It's me, don't you! Hey. <laughs> face. You got... I don't even know if weird edit. Is trying to tell me something out there. Out Can there you be more vague, please, Claire? Something. Oh my gosh. Apple peaches, pumpkin pie, cherry cobbler, loaf of rye, Groucho Harpo, Chico Zeppo, Crypto <laughs> Seeky Comet Beppo, Emmett Kelly, Bozo Clown, forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown. <laughs> King of Forrester here. And the always lovable Max. Oh, mm. Stay tuned. That's debatable. Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, Ginger <laughs> Rogers, dance on air. And <laughs> Aw, man, we both chose paper. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute, though. That was fun. Their, their rhyme was fun. God, I wish I could act. <laughs> document. Welcome to the pre-chewed baloney kingdom, Claire. Ew, gross. <laughs> Head over to Esophagus, a downtown Ew. dive located inside an old man's throat. Or yeah. <laughs> to the bar. This place is so funky, I love it. Like, wouldn't you be terrified? Why is she so happy? So Coming to Star what? Wars, <laughs> Edge, Gungan Land. <laughs> have a good time. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so he wasn't killed? They just and took him? Come here. So they... They just set the suit back full of goo? What? Dr. Seaver died from lack of oxygen. I received that. What? And order from the commander overrides all What? So he... So that's why he died? Here's the church, here's the steeple. Form one being. Open the doors, lords of the deeple. <laughs> They want us to survive so they can eat us. They want to teach us balance. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I did that, sir. You never remember. Yeah. Why is he on the verge of tears? Why, sir? Why, sir? I authorized the removal of Claire McDowell, not the others. Mm. It was necessary. <laughs> I needed to go on a murder spree, sir. Finding dead bodies? Is she in a Law and Order episode? Oh. How terrible would that be, though? Frenzy. Yeah. Let me know where All she is. All our friends are dead. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, thank God you're all right. Coming to <laughs> all right. Oh, he's, he's laying in agony, but okay. Oh, God, you're hurt. Dobler, he put jam all over my head. <laughs> <laughs> he's the king of pranks, but I don't think they're funny. <laughs> That's your big idea. Hey, he was bashed. Thing with another thing. He had his head bashed in. He's at least trying, man. Snakes! Oh! Guy must be a, yeah, the guy might be a bad actor with a terrible mustache, but as a character, he just did a lot. What about the guy that she found in, in the like flesh cave? I guess they're gonna go back for him. What is happening? 
Okay, good. They did go back for the other guy. Look who I got. Look who Jack. I got. By the way, everyone else is dead. I know! Oh, finish, that was brutal. Yep. No, it wasn't. Compared to, like, compared to the last two movies, that was nothing. That was a really good episode. That was easily the best of the three so far, like, by a mile. And I don't care what they said at the end there. I think that was the easiest movie they had to do. I'm not saying... I'm not saying it was an easy movie to sit down and write the riffs for, but I mean, as the characters, if I had to sit down and watch all the movies that they've been watching, um, it's like, that would have been the easiest one, in my opinion. I mean, compared to Mac and Me and, um, Mac and Me and Atlantic Rim, this was nothing. So I let's I guess just get right into uh, the rest of this I suppose. This one just had easily the best riffs. Easily I think is the most watchable movie. I'm not saying it's a good movie, but even watching it riffed, I was the most like invested in this one out of any of them. I was kind of like, oh, I wonder kind of what's going on. Whereas Atlantic Rim, I was bored out of my skull most of the time. And with Mac and Me, some of it was goofy and interesting enough to keep your attention, but some of it was so ugly and just terrible to look at and have to sit through that it did get kind of the point where you're like, my brain. But this one was just like a classic sci-fi movie. It, it harkened back to a lot of the classic episodes of Mystery Science Theater, and I think overall it was just, the riffing was great. I don't know if it was any easier for them to sit through the riff or not, but I just think of the three so far in the gauntlet, if you said, Faith, you have to sit down and watch one of these unriffed, Lords of the Deep would easily be my choice so far. And riff-wise, also, of the three, Actual episodes of Mystery Science in the gauntlet, which one would you watch for? Easily, it'd be this one. 100%. It had the the best riffing all the way through. I had a lot of good cracking up moments, but had a lot of good, like, just enjoying a lot of the riffs moments, which is great. I'd say the weakest parts uh, were probably the invention exchange was like, eh, you know. And then um, the lady at the end that they had was like, whatever. But... Uh, the mid segments were good. I liked the I liked the bots with their rhyme that kept going on and on and on. That was fun. And then uh, I really liked the Jonah's hand in the like goo stuff, and it made him uh, spill a bunch of like terrible memories. It made me think of it. I believe it's the brain that wouldn't die, where they convinced Mike to tell them like this sad, terrible memory of his, and that's what it felt like. And that's. Part of what I really like is that Jonah has his own character and he can hit both some Joel-like things but also some Mike-like things and, and yeah, his own unique things and that's what's really cool. So that was all good, all the riffing was good, I think they all did a great job. Like I said, the segments, the segments weren't even, the segments that I didn't really care for weren't even like bad. We've definitely had worse in these last season and, and a half or so. But it's like, I'm so happy that I stayed up and watched this, this second one here, the second one in the row tonight because... After Atlantic Rim, I was just like, is this really what this whole thing is going to be? You know, But no, this was one that they did a great job. Again, though, in-universe story-wise, the other two movies made sense for trying to drive them insane with six movies in a row. This one, not so much. It, it's I, I just don't think it was bad enough, you know, in the grand scheme of things for a storyline like this, but as an episode, and as, like, me watching it, they did a fantastic job. I don't have that much to say other than it was really good, and, uh, again, there were a couple weird edits. One or two of them, it turned out, like, uh, before people died or, or actually died in a couple scenes, might have been the actual movie editing it that way, because some reveals that happened later on, um, but there were one or two cuts that were very blatantly done by the guys in the writing, or, like, in, in, the show uh because if not they were really 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 bizarre edits for the movie so i don't know but either way i mean for me the episode could have been longer and it, like this would have been one that i would have totally welcomed them doing the entire movie even more so than the last couple because they just did such a good job and this feels a lot more in line with what a lot of the good episodes most of the rifts of season 11 were so 
I'm just like, I'm so happy that we got this and it kind of rekindles some hope for the next three episodes to be good. I really hope they are. This is easily the one I'll be coming back to watch so far. I hope the other three coming up are also ones I'll go back to watch. It just seems like so far, much like last season, the first two episodes are really rough and I, I don't know why that is, at least to me. I know a lot of people like Cry Wilderness. That's fine. I just don't care for it. But um, this one was, was a, a really solid episode. This one was really, really good. Um, like I said, definitely goes in line with a lot of what season 11 was. So uh, that's just fantastic. And I hope the next ones are as good, but it is late. I am tired. I've had a very busy Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving night. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys later.